making movies largely is about getting the script right and casting right. Once you've done that, and then casting your crew, because you do have to cast your crew, because you, know, you work together very intensively for months and months together, on six weeks shooting, but the production, the pre-production and the editing process. And it's about, my job is largely about man management. It's about getting on with people and getting people to, to feel they're in an environment that they can be creative and they can make mistakes and they can try different things. So most, much of my work's done before I ever get on the set. And so choosing, I won't work with people who have a reputation for being difficult. I don't care how, I'm an old man, I can afford to do it. Not financially probably, but emotionally. So I won't work with actors who have terrible reputations. It's why, why bother? These actors didn't and they were a joy to work with all of them. The Trevi Fountain was the most challenging in that we were filming there late at night um, and uh, about 11.30 and um, we got all our permissions and all the police permissions and everything else and we had an Italian production company who did a very good job I have to say. So um, the actors are in place I say turnover and action and as I say the word action the water goes off. And I say, what's happened? The water's all gone off on the fountain and everyone rushes around. No one knows what's happened. So I go, well, we have to shoot. We can't, we can't not shoot the film. The fountains were slightly out of focus behind uh, the actors. And um, so we, for two hours we filmed with no water. And then I said, OK, that's a wrap. Let's all go home. And as I said, cut, the water came back on again. So I'll leave it to you to decide what happened. But um, it, was, it wasn't amusing at the time. It's amusing in hindsight. So we went back um, months later and we shot plates of the fountains and then very clever people, as they can do today, put the fountain back in. So you never know when you see the movie, but that was probably the most challenging night of the film. It's a feel-good movie. I, I don't like that expression terribly, but it's probably accurate. You come out of the cinema, I think, feeling better than when you went in, probably. So I'm, if that happens, I'll be very proud.